we got involved in this project because this is our last year at UF and this is our senior design project. It's a two semester concept, so senior design one and two, and our advisor, Dr. Schultz, he brought the idea to us and asked if we'd be interested. It sounded like a really awesome idea, the idea of you know saving fuel, saving money, and having water for irrigation that wasn't already there. I think it was all a really wonderful concept. So we decided to run with it, and two semesters later, after all of our research and hard work, today is the culmination of everything, so it's pretty great. Yeah, we had to work on it really hard for the past year. Um, we had to go through the entire process of coming up with the design, and then once we had our design, then we had to make the presentation, kind of decide who was going to talk about what, and how we wanted to structure the presentation. So it took a lot of work, but it was really fun and it was very rewarding. not knowing what we were doing. <laughs> I would so, completely agree. <laughs> so many times during this project we just had zero idea of what was expected of us, what we should do, where we should turn next, and thankfully we had a really fabulous network of advisors and professors and mentors that were able to help us whenever we got stuck, but that was most certainly the craziest, most frustrating part. It was. I think it, the project was very relevant to what I'm interested in doing in the career, in my mm -hmm. career. So I found it very helpful, very interesting, and very relevant. And it was something that I would do again. I think what I got out of this project the most was also what I liked the least about it. The real world implications of the project. Meeting Mr. Adams on his ranch and learning that he found our sustainable ideas such as biodiesel and electricity to be laughable was kind of a slap in the face when it happened. It was a really rude awakening to us um, having to meet the needs of our, um, having to meet the needs of the person who's paying for the project and at the same time having to meet the specifications of the project to be carbon efficient, to be cost efficient, things of that nature. So finding out how to navigate the world of the real world and cost versus desires was hard and frustrating, but it was a valuable lesson in the end. That was definitely a learning curve. There's always going to be some push and shove with, do you go with what you truly believe is the best design, or do you just go straight over to what the client wants? You kind of have to determine where the middle ground is, making your client happy, but also sticking to your guts about what you believe is the best design, the most effective design. To an extent. I think that we were able to find a middle ground in a sense. We had to sacrifice some of our initial convictions about the project. However, in the end, I think that what we've come up with is the best solution for both teams, for both sides, if you will. It is cost effective for Mr. Adams. It's something much more feasible, much more close to what he already has in place on his ranch, but it is carbon efficient enough and it is improved enough and more sustainable enough that we feel like we've done our jobs in making a better system. I would. I, I thought it was a good experience. It was definitely the most relevant out of all of my friends who were also in Design 1 and 2. I felt like our project was the most relevant to our what we want to do as a career. So I thought that was really awesome. I might hesitate a little bit. I feel that a senior design course should be something a little more hands-on. Something that gives me physical, tangible experience. What I have is a final project that shows I was able to research and design a system that has to do with water moving and pumping systems and carbon efficiency, but I would have liked to have something that I could actually hold and make and create and actually physically design as opposed to conceptually design. No. Honestly, no. <laughs> They made it very clear in our site visit that it was going to be more of a cost issue than sustainability and being carbon neutral and stuff. So uh, I, I don't think that they will implement our design, but um, it was still a good experience and 
we stuck to our guns and we still did solar even though they kind of poo pooed it. So. This is real life. I mean, in the real world, there are multiple teams designing for one contract, trying to bid for the same concept, the same design, the same implementation, and sometimes you don't get it. And that's real world, and you just need to get back up and move on to the next project and design it even better than the last one. And that's what I think we'll do.